Welcome to True Island Story. This is episode 8 of the Jamaican Butcher, the untold stories of Natty Morgan. After the gruesome execution of the ex cop Param, Nathaniel Natty Morgan knew he was living on borrowed time. He knew he was public enemy number one, and he wore that title proudly. Back then, you could not turn on your TV and not heard or saw news about Natty and the reward for his capture, dead or alive. Even though he was ruthless, many rooted for his survival, mainly because they hated the police. And the cops and the soldiers were vested too much power back then. And community policing wasn't broad-scale practice, mainly raw and unjust brute force in the execution of their duties. Execution being the highlighted noun. Natty's name was attached to almost every crime committed in and around his community. He was accused for the Seaview Garden Massacre of Eight. When in truth and in fact, he was nowhere near the commission of those murders. Rumors, all rumors. Those murders, however, tied in with his escape, propelled his notoriety in the upper echelons of the cold-blooded murderers that trampled the cactus underbelly of the blood-soaked badlands, the Riverton swamplands. He was blamed for these murders. Okay, if we were to be fair, he only had partial involvement in the embryonic stages. Not yet gotten wind of a perfect score, which would be very lucrative if pulled off. Not enough to ride off into the sunset into retirement by any means but enough to keep his hungry wolves around him fed and loyal, for the most part. You know what they say, there's no honor among thieves. Natty and two of his boys hijacked a four-door SUV-like car and kidnapped its occupants. The plan was to hold them till they did the job, then, depending on the circumstances, he would let them go or not. They went on the job which was successful without a itch. Natty was in Augustown with Tiger and Bama, who were residents of Augustown. They were there counting off the spoils while Short Piece and Wasp was in Riverton with the kidnapped victims waiting on Natty's orders on what to do with them. Natty and his men in Augustown heard news of the kidnapping on the radio and the revelations of the identity of who they had taken. When Natty heard that, his jaws dropped because he knew the caliber of a man kidnap would turn up the manhunt decibel on him and his crew a hundred percent and that was something he definitely didn't want. In those days, in 1992, there were no cell phones and there were certainly wasn't any landlines in the swamp. Natty found out they had kidnapped one of the most prominent doctors in Jamaica. He was not only a top-class doctor, he was also a university lecturer. And not only the cops, but regular citizens of Jamaica wanted him released safely. That one act severed Natty Morgan's Robin Hood appearance to his community and unmasked his true identity as the true butcher of the Badlands. That act tarnished his image severely. It was on every news media outlet. The price on his head went up 20,000% in one jump. Not immediately sent word via automobile to his cohorts to release the hostages immediately. But he was a day late and a dollar short. Short piece, as ironic as it sound, was the one who gave the order for them to be executed. The doctor, Dr. Garfield Saddle and his female companion, Rosemary Stewart, were tortured and murdered. They were burned with big fire truck tires to the bare bones. Natty Morgan, born December the 3rd, 1st, 1966, was so angry when he got the news. Even the men around him became paranoid of him. He was never the same after that news, and he swore that those responsible for acting out of pocket would pay and pay dearly. 
The men buried the bodies, but Short Peace could not sleep that night. He didn't trust his accomplices, so around 4 a.m., he went and moved the remains and took them to a location known only to him and reburied them. And sure enough, they got got by the cops and his accomplices revealed a location under severe beating and peer pressure by the cops. When the cops went with their forensic team and the dogs to unearth the cadaver, they were nowhere to be found. His accomplices even told on Short Peace. But Short Peace's proactive thinking was what saved him. And even the rats who told on him. The case was thrown out against them all. Natty took personal revenge on some of them. Personally, they were zinked. Zink! Natty was nowhere near the gruesome murder of the doctor and his lady. It was shown on the TV where they were taken deep in the swamplands. Evidence of canned foods, survival gears and clothing of the doc and his lady were recovered. But no sign of their gruesome remains. We have come to the end of episode 8 of the Jamaican Butcher, the untold stories of Natty Morgan. Please make sure you smash the like button, like and share, and press the notification bell to be notified for more stories. And do look out for episode 9, coming soon entitled The Riverton Shootout. This one, I promise, will be exciting. Brrr. I am Joy. Peppa, you know the real J Tenga, huh? How I grow up, sometime, the road tough side slow. <laughs> real patriots never buck, never fall. How they get to run, that's why Back from the boy, who don't do that? Who? Uh, who no can kill with Jai, who no go? Uh, who from your soul don't know what wrong go? Yo, eh And a man bust a shot him off a pack up and go Mind it from him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him for do None of that, eh <laughs> No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, marital corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation, I see the said song one one head man will live long. Name one, don't so ever be with na dan. Name one, one good honest politician. Name one, and get a youth resilient. Back from the boy who no do that. Who? Who no can kill with jail? Who no who? Who from your soul don't know what wrong boy? Yo, yo, now a man better go. And a man bust a shot him off a back up and go. Point it on him head back and go. Pop off him strap on him friend him for do. None of that, you are man better. Things risky, fit the misfit. Death rate fit the logistic. Risk is, ha, I want the biscuit. Be a tough crackers with the whiskey. Uh -huh. You're not listening. Crime live here, so it's not visiting. Visitors, careful, you know what the business is. Murder, plunder, village in who? Bloodshed in all the villages. You name it, you will live in it. Get rich, I do a special delivery. Nightmare, in time, into the images. Vengeance, blood the cycle, continuing. But no, you seek that, but it's no revenge. Looking at the mirror, there is no different. One we full of, hey, how we know we trends back from the boy, I wanna do that. Who? Who uh. oh, no can tell me, child? Who no poor? Uh. Who from your soul don't know who are and who? Uh. Yup, now I'm on better. Uh. When a man bust, no shot him off a back up and who? Mind it on him head back and blow Pop off him strap on him friend him for blow None of that you are man better No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, marital corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation, passing the set song One one head man will live along Name one, bring the fella with the Name one, one and this politician Name one who And get the youth resilient Fuck from the boy who don't do that Who? Can't kill with child on the back. Who from your soul don't know what wrong do? Eh, yo, yo, a man better go. Any hey, man bust a shot him off a back up and go. Fight it on him head back and go. Pop off him strap on him friend him for do. Eh, no, 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 no. Eh, yo, you know the thing going up, suck a seat up a big thing. Hey man, take your time, man. Go, 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 man.